Hi everyone, it's naturally Mona Lisa. I'm back! I hope you didn't miss me too much. I've been gone for several months to handle some career and personal related stuff. And now I'm back for February of 2022 and I hope to uh, get back to producing content on this YouTube channel. So let me take some time to express my thank you for all of you for continuing to watch my videos on this channel while I'm gone. And thank you for new subscribers that subscribed to my channel while I was gone. Uh, my content, my videos must have been so um, inspiring and useful for you that you decided to subscribe to my channel while I was on hiatus. So thank you all of you for your support, whether you're uh, a long time subscriber or a new subscriber to my channel. So let me let you know what I've been doing while I was gone and what I plan on doing on this channel moving forward in the year 2022. So the main reason while I was gone, I was gone from September of 2021 to up until now. This is the main reason while I've been gone. I was pouring all of my effort and time to study for this certification. So um, I work within a subfield of HR. So I'm a trainer. I, I train employees um, in the corporate setting, whether it's staff or leaders, and I train in multiple different topics. It could be conflict resolution, it could be leadership skills, it could be customer service, you name it, right? And learning and development is a subfield of HR. And I wanted to expand my knowledge of the HR field and, um, you know, I guess be more well-rounded, I guess. So this is why I took a hiatus from my channel to focus on studying for the SHRM CP certification. So this is one of the two HR certifications that make you a certified HR professional um, in this uh, country, United States, and many other um, countries in the world also recognize this. The other certification that HR professionals pursue is the PHR. So I decided to pursue the SHRM CP certification. Um, I took a college class from September till December, and then I took the exam on December 20th of 2021, and I passed on my first try so this has been so oh, it's been so nerve-wracking exciting meaningful all at the same time so um thank you all of my friends and family for praying for me and for supporting me during my time of studying for the certification so i'm sherm cp certified you can call me hr certified hr professional if you want or just call me mona lisa <laughs> So moving forward, um, I would like to pursue uh, more specific certifications. Uh, so now that I have the well-rounded certification, um, I, wanted, I want to pursue a more specific one for the learning and development field. So um, ATD is Association for Talent Development. They have several certifications for people that work specifically in employee training or talent development in the corporate setting. So I'm considering pursuing the master's trainer certification or even the CPTD certification in the next few years. So yeah, so that's what I'm doing right now um, in, you know, with my, with my career development. Um, in terms of my personal life, um, I was supposed to get back on my YouTube channel right after New Year's, um, but I had to delay that because I got COVID. Yeah, so about that. Uh, I'm triple vaccinated. I got both of the Modernas and I got the Pfizer as my booster. And I was shocked when I tested positive. Well, I got sick um, on January 2nd, the day after New Year's. Uh, and I was really sick for a few days. And then my boss at the time said, well, you should go get tested. Um, since, you know, 
um, I worked as a um, within a big healthcare organization. I'm a trainer within a healthcare organization. Um, I've actually switched jobs um, um, since then to another um, organization. It's a vision organization. But anyways, so at the time my boss told me, yeah, you're sick. Why don't you get tested just to make sure it's not COVID, right? And um, I decided to get tested and I, it came back positive the next day. And I was very, very upset because my husband and I uh, were supposed to go to Las Vegas the following week to celebrate our five year wedding anniversary. And when I tested positive, like four or five days before we hopped on the plane, I had to cancel the entire trip. And that was very, very upsetting. I spent many months planning for this Las Vegas trip. Uh, it's our five year wedding anniversary. It's something to celebrate, right? So I spent so many months planning for this Vegas trip. Uh, we planned on going, uh, going to the Ferris wheel. We planned on um, um, going to the Shin Ling magic show. We planned on taking a day trip to the Grand Canyon. But all of that has to be thrown out the window since I got tested positive. So I was just at home miserable for the next two weeks. Uh, so I blamed myself for catching COVID somehow. Uh, and I blame myself for, you know, not able to go to Vegas and celebrate our, you know, anniversary trip. So I was quite upset for, for two weeks about the whole situation. This thing still may not go your way, even though you do the best that you can, uh, you follow the right procedure, you follow the right steps. Um, that's just life. Life's not fair. Um, life's not perfect. You know, it, it, that's how life is. So um, I had to tell myself to just, um, get over it, um, stop blaming myself. And uh, I just thank my husband for being very understanding about the situation. He did caught COVID for me, uh, obviously, because we live together. Uh, so we were both in the house for like three weeks uh, and uh, he finally uh, tested uh, negative. I tested negative and we, uh, we have since went back to work. So, so yeah, uh, the combination of studying for the certification i really need to get a frame for this but the combination of studying for the certification and me catching covid um has delayed me uh, from or put me on hiatus and delayed me from coming back to this youtube channel so uh, with that said i'm back um I'm really excited to come back and produce more meaningful and inspirational content for you on YouTube. Um, uh, I just want to kick off um, our year uh, by saying Happy New Year, uh, since you haven't seen me since last year. So Happy New Year. I really hope that the year 2022 will bring you much more joy, much more peace, and that uh, you get a rich blessing this year. Also, uh, it's February, two things is going on for both of my cultures. Uh, on my Chinese side, we are celebrating Lunar New Year and Lunar New Year falls on February 1st and it lasts for around two weeks. So if you are from an Asian country, whether you're Chinese, Japanese, Korean, Vietnamese, Thai, um, many Asian countries celebrate the Lunar New Year. So happy Lunar New Year. The next thing that we are celebrating in February is Black History Month. So if you live in the United States, this is especially a huge deal in the United States. Um, and if you're outside the United States, I encourage you to do your research about what Black History Month is all about and to celebrate black success and black excellence in America and also around the world. Uh, unfortunately, there's still a lot of people out there that um, discriminate and oppress the black community. Uh, they tell others that we don't matter. We're not an important part of society. We're not smart. We don't make any significant achievement. When those are all not true, um, there's a rich culture within the black community, uh, whether it's music, dance, clothing, language, uh, movies and shows. Um, 
black the black community has made so many important inventions and discoveries a lot of people in the black community has served um high position in politics in the business world in the medical field so it is very important to celebrate black excellence in the month of february and anytime really <laughs> don't just take february to celebrate black excellence right uh, black people are a really important part of society so um, i strongly encourage you to take the month of february to celebrate uh, black excellence in your community and finally um, for my youtube channel for this year I, I hope to start posting content on this channel again i'm thinking perhaps two to three times a month again i'm really busy at work and have other things to do uh, this is my hobby i do this because i enjoy producing meaningful content for you guys uh, to share my experience about my experience with eczema my experience looking for products that are safe and non-toxic to me uh, sharing my culture my chinese and jamaican culture and many other things that i care about uh, this is my hobby but this is a a passionate hobby that i have so with that said um i hope to start producing content again in this youtube channel um in the next week or two um i would say two to three videos a month at least two videos a month maybe three uh and again thank you so much for your support whether if you are an old long-term subscriber or a new subscriber i hope my channel um is inspirational um, and helpful to you and your journey in your eczema journey in your um journey looking for products that are safe for you and also um, if you're a mixed person out there i hope that i can inspire you to um, learn to be more confident in yourself um, learn to love yourself more and know that you as a mixed person uh, you can make a big uh, impact in society thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye bye